what's good you guys it's the mix welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about ariel john edu aka aj edu half filipino half nigerian he was born in cyprus but he also holds a philippine passport which allows him to play for the philippine national team in fiba tournaments and hopefully one day at the olympics so aj edu like i said he's 18 years old he was actually born on january 1st so just a little background on Edu playing for the Philippines. He was a part of the Philippine team that placed 7th in the 2017 FIBA 3-on-3 U18 World Cup. Um, he's attended at least one practice with the senior national team, the Gilas. Um, he impressed coaches there with his athleticism. And just recently, he was named to the Gilas 23-man um, team, comprised of the best country's best young players and possibly could form the team that's going to compete in the 2023 World Cup. But now I think a lot of NBA scouts and people around the NBA and actually Division One college coaches are starting to take notice of him. Um, being he's already 18, there's a chance, you know, he could just enter the draft. But after being invited to this annual camp, it's called the Basketball Without Borders Global Camp. It's, you know, organized by the NBA. And so this camp, it usually features uh, around 60 of the top high school and female athletes from 36 countries. So it's, you know, global international athletes that are, that are, you know, of college, high school age. They come to this camp. Um, AJ Edu was invited. He was one of the 41 teenage male players that were chosen to go to this camp. Um, some NBA stars that train at this camp are Al Horford, Goran Dragic, DeMontis Sabonis, players like that that are international born players that have, uh, you know, made it in the NBA and had successful careers. So AJ Edu, 6'11", 6'10", super explosive, super athletic um, I think it's you know, the type of player that the Philippine national team hasn't really had, you know, a player with this height and this athleticism. Um, so it's really adding a whole new, you know, edge of excitement to the Philippine national team. And I think when people look forward, you know, to the Philippine team down the line and potentially in the 2023 World Cup, they see a front court of, you know, possibly AJ Edu and, and Kai Soto. So that, that's just a very promising front court to have. I think for, for them, it's a super... Um, interesting front court to place into their you know senior men's national team and i think if those two are in the fold come the world cup if jordan clarkson can play for the philippine national team if players like remy martin can play i think that that you know they'll have a pretty pretty solid team i think they could definitely get some wins in the FIBA world cup um but just you know again talking about aj edu just some nba comparisons that aj's already gotten players like kevin durant and someone who i think he can be like is Giannis antonacupo um, super long athletic can bring the ball up the court shoot the rock i think he can shoot the brock better than giannis could at this age but i mean giannis he, he affects the game in a multitude of ways i think aj can do the same if he's really polished if you just look at some of these footage you know this highlights he, he's a really polished player he's not just raw i think he's got the skills that will translate at the next level in you know the evolving nba game so just to recap aj edu Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant could be all in the same category in 10 years. Um, Philippine national team looking super promising with these young players. AJ Edu, Kai Soto, Kobe Parras, Remy Martin. All players that are going to be potentially playing in the NBA one day. Playing for the Philippine national team. Um, super exciting time for the Philippine national team. And for AJ Edu, I, I really believe the sky's the limit for him. I think he can do a lot of things well on the court. And I, I seriously think that he's going to be an NBA player one day. So once again... Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good day.